Hey you guys here with another Android video. In this video I want to share with you guys a very cool keyboard I've been using for the last couple of weeks already. Uh, it's called Chroma Keyboard. Uh, like you guys know on Android there's a lot of great keyboards in the market you could try uh, for free or paid keyboard. Uh, this one you could try it, uh, you can actually use it for free and I'm going to show you guys everything you could do for free. But if you want to buy it, um, it would actually cost you $2.49 which is not bad and it's totally Totally worth it because you get uh, options like for example customize your keyboard uh, right now as it is right now for free you can only get the flat style keyboard which is the style that I like but if you like palette if you like center gradient gradient uh, you would have actually have to uh, pay the two dollars and forty nine cents um, things that you could do here for free i'm going to show you guys here uh for example um one cool feature that i like that this keyboard does is that it says adapt keyboard color uh change the keyboard color to match it with the current application team um this i think it's off by default but i love leaving it on because let's say you are in a for example let's say you are in hangouts right and you tap right here like you see there the keyboard turns green and it looks very cool it matches the app um if you go to for example um, Twitter. If you go to Twitter, da, 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 you go Twitter. If you're gonna go ahead and write, look at this. The keyboard matches the theme of Twitter. If you go to Facebook, same thing goes there. So you go to Facebook, look at that. You get a very cool blue color keyboard. And that what that feature does. That's what the adapt keyboard color does. If you don't like that, you just turn it off. And right here it says use a single color um, through all my apps. But come on, that would be boring. That would be boring. So I would have that. Another cool feature it has is the battery saver. Um, the battery changes red if it's if it's on power save mode, your phone. So if you click here, right, I'm on red. Um, uh, this on right so if i turn my phone power saving mode on so it doesn't matter where i'm at like for example if i'm here the keyboard is red um even if i go to facebook if i go to facebook the keyboard is red and it's just letting you know that the keyboard uh, that your phone is in power saving mode uh that's cool but if you want to turn it off just turn it off there go back here right boom and it turns back blue that's very cool so you might want to leave that on there so another thing that you could do here for free is uh the emoji uh right here you have emoji key you got right there uh what that does is for example if you turn that off right let's go and take out the keyboard out it's going to turn it on uh right here by default this is going to be like this See, you don't see the emoji keyboard anywhere, the key anywhere. So to see the key, the emoji key here, you would have to tap and hold here. And there he goes. There's the emoji. So you, the emoji key is, is actually hidden. So I really don't like that. I really want to see the emojis available right away. And like you see here, this application has lots and lots and lots of emojis, which is included in the free version, which is awesome. Um, you want to go back here and go there. But if you wanted to have the button visible all the time in the suggestion trip strip, click right there. And it will always be there look at that you tap right there voila you will always see that there you will always see the emoji keyboard there so that is very good to have so i would leave it like that that's how i leave it uh show trail gesture i like using that and the door the floating preview the all that is is this right here so like you see here when you're float when you're t uh, swiping you can see the letters or, or the words that it's creating floating there that's a feature that i've always liked from um, android keyboards especially from google keyboard so i always leave that active and i always leave the trail active as, as well so you might want to leave that active uh, another cool feature here is the languages um fix strip here uh this right here it says fix strip suggested strip is this right here uh right now in some places uh, the strip is not going to be visible but if you want it for it to be visible all the time just click right there click here and look see there the strip is going to be available all the time so that's another thing that i have uh available all the time here you have the auto correction level you could put it to modest aggressive and very aggressive i leave it at modest 
I leave it modest, but you could also change it. Um, one thing that I like here as well is that um, if you want to try the pro version for free, you can invite friends and you'll get the 24 hours of pro version for free. So you could try it out and you can see what, uh, what uh, if you should buy it or not. But uh, one thing for sure, you might want to buy it if you have more than one Android device. Uh, because if you have more than one Android device, you want to use the same keyboard on all your devices. And you want the settings to sync through all the devices. So this is where you have to actually pony up the $2.49. If you actually have a tablet and a phone, you might want to buy for $2.49. For Plus, you get all the other awesome features as well. Um, here you got space bar world icon um, this right here I like to leave it on I think by default it's off like you see there but since I use um, different languages like Spanish and English I like having available my uh, world keyboard there like see let's see if I can activate it if I click right there click there and now you have a world you know, like world key that what the, what that does is that it changes from English to Spanish, or if you have more languages, it will just keep on switching languages. So I, I, I usually use Spanish and English. Uh, let's see what else you could do here. Show I, app icons, Spanish language bar. So if you don't like that, you could just press here and you can switch languages right here in your, by pressing and holding the la the the space bar but honestly i i really prefer just pressing that key and having available the language language switching like that uh, that's very cool uh, another cool feature that this has let's say for example you are on facebook right and um you press and hold over here you're gonna see this option right here um if you want to use it like right-handed now it is more convenient to type while being you know, like uh, with one hand. So like you see there, you could choose right hand or you can choose left hand. So if you wanna do a one-handed typing, so this, that's very cool that it has that option there. So it's very easy to switch. I like the fact that it makes it very easy and you can see the effects right away by just tapping here. That's very, very cool. So if you want one of those that actually need to be using only one hand for typing so that would be a good option for you and it works very good just like it would work on center but i honestly i like the center option better uh, from here you can also of course open the app settings that's going to take you right there um, you can also let's say you can also from here tap and hold uh, choose color if you want to switch a different color here you could switch uh, for example let's say i want to switch to uh, you got other colors here so you could change colors here on the fly like you see there you could choose different colors so if you like purple choose purple and you tap in here now you, could, you have a purple keyboard uh, that's cool as well that you can actually change the color to whatever color you want by just using that slider there or hex over here or color picker there and that's it. Honestly, I really like using the default colors of the applications. This is not it, but I rather use the default colors of the applications there. Look at that. That's very cool. This is, if I'm not mistaken, this is Instagram. And Instagram, the blue color looks very, very awesome as well. So, guys, that's it. Just wanted to share this um, application with you guys. Uh, this is a very cool keyboard for Android. And like I said, the free version, I decided to show you guys the free version so you guys can have an idea uh, what you can do with the free version and what you, what you would be missing with the pro version. And honestly, in my case, since I have an Android phone and a iOS tablet, I really don't need the pro version and I actually like the appearance of the flat version. So for now, I'm just going to be using the free version, but I'm telling you guys, it is totally worth getting the pro version if you actually need all these extra features as well. So guys, thanks for watching the video. This was Chroma keyboard for Android. Till next time, guys.